Hi there everyone, Totally Dub here, and today I'm going to show you a quite easy way of applying a theme to your Galaxy S. For example, I'm on Darkies ROM 9.3 currently, um, and you can see I've got a nice blue theme. Um, and basically, this is really simple to do, um, and I was kind of stressing out about it, and I was wondering how is how do you do this and everything, can you see everything's changed, everything's kind of blue and it's kind of nice so I'm going to show you how to do it, it's really really simple first of all we want to go into settings you want to go into applications, you want to go development and you want to enable USB debugging eh, debugging, <laughs> debugging mode, <laughs> I can't even speak now um, apologies if the camera is a little bit blurry but that's just simply because my uh, my camera kind of sucks, I was thinking of getting a new one, I've been thinking about it for quite a while. Anyway, so once you've done that, um, you want to connect it into your computer. Uh, and obviously, when you get it onto your computer, um, so I'm going to slide that down, first do this, connect, yep, as you can see that's all part of the theme. Connect to your computer, first of all, you want to download the theme, the theme is made by Crisis21, I will link it down in the description, do not worry, here it is. Um, and basically you download just get to it, see this, all the features and everything, here you go, this download file, click it, goes to multi-uploading and just uh, download it from there. So uh, what you want to do is um, go into your internal memory of your um, of your Samsung Galaxy S, as you can see it says INT memory, open that and basically copy and paste the zipped version, so you don't have to unzip it, the zipped version onto your Intel memory. It's already there, so I'm not going to do it. Once you've done that, uh, we're going to go back on the computer. Computer? Uh, we're going to go back on the, uh, the phone. Turn off. Once that's done. It does take a while. Right, you can unplug it. Now it's now it's in your internal memory. You want to switch it off. So I'm on Darkies 9.3 at the moment, so I can go straight into recovery. But I'll do it in a way that everyone can uh, understand how to do it. Uh, it. Makes it easier for you guys to understand. I'm waiting for it to uh, vibrate. Right, just vibrated. Up, menu, power. Try and look for it because I had a nice, very nice step-by-step -step guide that I'd written down. Because to be honest, I didn't really understand it, and I'm no pro at this, so I really need step-by-step -step guides and everything. Quite, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this. So I'll copy and paste that, and I'll put my posts where it is. Um, so yeah, um, now you want to go into. Now let me du double check. Right, first of all, you want to clear the catch. Now the cache is over here. There you go. To clear the cache, you go down to it and press the press the power key. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's exactly what you do. Press the power key. Um, do that, and then after that, go down into advanced. Now, want click into advanced. You press the power key again, um, and if you see, it says wipe Dalvik cache. Do that again. Click the power key. Once that's done. You want to go back, go into install zip from SD card, power key, down one to choose zip from SD card, power key, and up to save yourself some trouble, and you can see there it says crisisrevolution.zip. I have dark keys there and I've got voodoo stable 5.5 right there. So hit the power key um, and basically it comes up with this screen. Go to yes, click yes, and bam, Bob's your uncle. It's as simple as that. Um, your phone should reboot. If it doesn't, go back, and it says reboot system now. It's as simple as that, guys. Um, I thought it was very m much more complicated, but it's not. It's as simple as that. And obviously, this is one theme, um, but there's other themes out there that you can choose. Also, just one thing to bear in mind. Um, look at what firmware version you're using, for example if you're on gingerbread or not, because there's some themes which are for gingerbread and some aren't, so you can't mix and match, you have to be on the same one. Also look at what baseband version you're on, um, some are not designed for that baseband. 
It's as simple as that. Check those two things. If they comply, then do it. The reason why I saw this one is because it said it was nice, a nice blue theme. Um, I'd only see one or two pages of feedback, so I said, what the hell, I might as well try it. And my baseband was JPY, but the main important thing, the build number, was because it was running on Dark Keys 9.3, and it had been previously tested on 9.3. So I thought, why the hell not? Let me just go for it. So there you go. I have gone for it, and I'm very satisfied. Um, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that guide. Um, more videos to come, how to apply uh, Voodoo, um, and how to turn off Voodoo. And also how to put uh, a full guide on how to, even using Odin, um, how to put uh, Darkies 9.3 or 9.4 or 9.2 version on them. But the reason I haven't done that yet is because I'm getting quite a big battery drain at the moment and my battery isn't lasting more than 4 hours. So um, I'm not posting the video until I'm happy with it because I feel it's unfair to my subscribers or unfair to uh, people which have watched the video. Anyway guys, uh, big up Crisis, um, Crisis 21 I think it was, Crisis... 21, I should double check. Um, yep, Crisis 21 from uh, XDA for creating this really nice theme called Crisis Revolution. Enjoy the theme, guys. Bye bye.